I am Abraman Sise, um, and I'm in charge of data management and quality control here at Water Forever. Today, I would like to share how we are tracking all our um, field activities, especially repairs and maintenance um, using MWATER Survey app, and how the data is uh, being um, analyzed in real time with the custom consoles that we have built. On a normal basis, our quality controllers will check all our sites based on the schedule, and they will make sure that each component within the water point is functioning effectively. For areas that have treatment, they can check the UV, they can check the dosing uh, speed of the dosatron, they will replace the filters or wash them if they need so, and they can even check the whole, the whole electrical units to make sure that um, there are no faulty components. And when they are done, they will open MWATER Survey app and start collecting data for what they have done on that site. We are also tracking maintenance on pipelines. And we have um, area within the form that can capture um, pictures of the situation and after it was fixed, so that we kind of have an idea of how that particular problem was fixed. And if we want to do a follow-up, we have um, areas that we can just pinpoint and make a follow-up. We are also tracking maintenance and repairs for hand pumps. And everything that is um, getting replaced in the hand pump is recorded in the form. And we have a system that is tracking every activities for each of the hand pumps that is under um, our skin. So now, when they have done all the activities um, per site, they will open the app. We already created a form that is deployed and they can enter the ID of the, the water points, which will link the survey to the water points and then fill in the rest of the other data, like the date of visits, the functionality status. And then proceed to check off the boxes based on what they have done. And, you know, leave a comment. There is a comment section at the bottom of the form. If um, there is something that they are reporting for, which is not listed in this um, predefined list. For areas with low coverage, we um, are encouraging our technicians to sync the app before going, and that is what exactly they normally do. Although we have been having problem with um, some data getting missing at times because um, they fail to sync the application, but so far we have um, got 90% of the reports that they are sending. So they will sync the app, go to the site, um, do what they are supposed to do, and then fill in the reports. So when they get back to the office, or you know, go um, go to a location with um, good network coverage, they will then sync the app, and that will send the data into the portal. There is also a custom rule within this form that will flag critical repairs and send them as tickets to the the supervisor in charge and also the manager. And the supervisor will then do a follow-up based on that um, ticket and then confirm that the site is actually working before closing the ticket. If there is anything that is going south, he will reactivate the ticket and maybe call the technician in charge or even escalate the issue to other technicians for, you know, for immediate um, fixing of that particular problem. And the ticketing system has been effective um, um, all this while. And we are using it to track every maintenance and repairs as a way of cross-checking and verifying that everything was fixed. Once they are done, they can submit. And the data will be available um, in the portal where um, our console will be updated automatically and we can further do other analysis with the data. So I would like to jump into um, AirMotor console and see um, um, how this data is 
being analyzed in real time. First off, as a manager and anyone that is viewing um, this um, report, will like to filter the data by say like for this month and see how many reports have get into the system. We can see the number of sites that have been visited and the number of repairs that they have reported for and even see the number of pipelines that stay fixed in the recent time. I can scroll down um, um, to view the map to just uh, see all the locations that they went. And based on the color coding, I will um, look at a point and just click to get a detailed um, report for that particular submission. So you see that this site was visited um, on Tuesday, the 13th, the 13th of September. And it was functional and open before they left. And the cleaning status was good, although there are problems um, of spider webs and some other minor, minor, minor issues with the, with the environment. But the problem they met at the time was that the, the pump was not working. So they have to get it fixed before they leave. And I can even um, click on the picture to see um, the particular uh, um, problem that they are trying to report for. And also follow up if I have um, other questions relating to this report. You see that they spent three hours fixing the problem. And the whole thing was that the, the site was functional and open before they left. And that is what we are pushing for. We have a chat that is giving us um, an overall overview of the functionality status of the water points, of all our water points. And it is even indicating sites that um, we are closed during the time of visit and, and other sites that are, are not functional at that time. So we have a clear picture, a real time picture of those water points. And we can use this report to do um, other follow ups. I can interact with the data by clicking on each of these uh, chat bars, which can serve as filters. And I can just filter to, um, based on this um, quality controller to see all the activities and reports that he has been sending and kind of confirm you know, the location. And if I have any question with the reports, then I can do a follow-up call with the direct technician. Areas that we are closed during um, the visit time uh, are stated here. And you see the comments, that's the QC rules. And I will take note of those comments and you know, send them to the supervisor and also do a follow-up to make sure that those sites are functional and open. So based on the dates that they submitted the reports, the system has um, um, some calculating system that we have used to track the number of days since they left the site. So at, at the time of this recording, you see that uh, we have plenty of sites that we are just uh, visited in less than one day. And we have some that are over eight days now. And based on the number of days, we can prioritize those that are to be visited next. I can export this uh, table and send it to the supervisors so that they can use it to update their maintenance schedule. We are also tracking um, every component that is getting replaced in all of our water points. And we categorize them. And you see that for hand pumps, we are having frequent failures in, in um, the handle area, which is bearing. And for normal water points, we have um, issues um, with doors, with um, fittings and other plumbing um, um, items. 
I can click on any uh, components of these charts and it will narrow the reports based on what I have selected. So I can just view these pictures and click on a picture if I want to go deeper into the reports. Um, as mentioned earlier, we are also tracking um, our pipelines. And you see that we have a live count of um, how many repairs have been done in each piece within the pipe network. So with this record, we can do some other um, follow-up steps like flushing the pipeline. And maybe at a future time, we can then decide based on the records whether we need to continue using the pipeline or change it completely. We also have a table that is tracking the number of repairs for each site. And I can uh, filter the report to just show me to just show me reports for this year. And you see that we have the sites that have recorded the most number of repairs in this year. The, the, uh, the flags that the form is sending are tracked, and sites that have been uh, repaired recently will appear in red. So we have a table that is tracking the names and the dates that they visited those sites. So our technicians will visit now the site and then confirm that it is functional and open and what they fix is um, um, excellently working and then they can decide to either um, close the issue or reopen the issue if um, the, the problem was not fixed properly. So we have two maps here that are showing um, sites that have been re recently closed, which are um, critical repairs, and those that are still open that we need to do follow-up with. We are tracking the number of items that are getting replaced in each of these sites. And we have a summary um, total for every um, item, you know, by month. And you see so far for this year, we have recorded um, these totals that um, we can then use to calculate how much it is costing us to run that particular site. We are doing so, um, we are doing that for and pump also. Uh, this is kind of keeping us uh, in loop of everything that they are doing in real time. And it can also prepare us to better plan for future maintenance and repairs and how well we, sh we should uh, restock our inventory to upkeep our sites and make them always functional. We also have uh, a spreadsheet system that is tracking everything I can download this and send this to a colleague and they can use this um, to do further analysis using other softwares. So this is how we track all our repairs and maintenance that are happening on a daily basis with all our, our water points. And so far, um, it has been working fine. And um, we are using the data to make a meaningful decision based on the reports that we have. So thank you all for listening and have a blessed day.